What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. We have got a new Italian league attackers pack including Ronaldinho and of course Adriano as well as a disappointing Gans who also played for AC Milan. Now Ronaldinho is probably the pick of the pack here lads. He looks absolutely amazing. His player ID is unreal. We will be spinning later on as well. He goes to about 100 overall but we're going to show you probably the best build it looks like is going to be for him depending on your play style. He is going to be an absolute monster. Adriano is going to be about power, going to be about precision, going to be about basically just shooting on sight. And I feel like he is definitely going to be one of those cards that you either love or hate. But look, it's Adriano, absolute beast of a card as well. And I do feel like that these cards are definitely going to shake things up because a lot of people want to play with Adriano. We're not even going to focus on the last guy lads in this pack, which is Gans. He's a very, very disappointing pack. Uh, player, I should say, in the pack. But listen, this is what it's all about. These two boys here, Ronaldinho and Adriano. Now, we've got Bills. We'll get them in, in a second. But these are included in the Italian League Attackers Pack, which we featured yesterday as to what was coming Monday. This guy, Gans, lads, just to start off with him, very, very, very poor, right? Very, very poor pack. I'm just going to hide my face cam here a second just to focus on the booster. Now, I have a video coming, and I still... Listen, lads... If you're training players still with booster in effect and you're looking at that to be the kind of, you know, main thing that you're kind of basing your card stats on, I am going to cover it in my live stream today. We are going to be spinning later um, and I will also cover this kind of like uh, this video and I'm going to do a video on YouTube as well. Yeah, don't train the card, man. Don't train the card with the booster. Like, don't take it into effect too much at all. And I'll explain that in the live stream today um, when we are streaming. But yeah, this card, this Gans card is very, very poor, man, in fairness. I don't feel like that any of his stats are worth leveling up. He has got Striker's Instinct. But listen, the big problem with this card is balance and tight possession. If you've got a goal poacher and you don't have balance at least 85 off the rip at level like, you know, 10 or whatever, um, I mean, or, or even at 75 at level one, you know, his is at 69, which is way below where you need it to be. I, I feel like that this card is just a complete waste, man. Now, he's obviously thrown in here because if you are spinning for Ronaldinho, you know, you might have to, you might have to go deep for him, but... Chip shot control, acrobatic finishing, and aerial superiority are going to be largely kind of wasted, I think, on this card because of that balance and tight possession. I will explain on live stream later from lots of testing. Tight possession controls much more than just tight possession on the ball. It's a stat that I don't see many people talking about, and I haven't really been asked too many questions about it, but hopefully I'll cover a lot of that stuff today in the stream. And again, this is a card that is definitely just a luxury item. Now, that's not to say, and we always cover ourselves, I will see clips of people sending me saying, ah, oh, you're wrong about Gans, I scored a hat-trick with him. I mean, you can, you can score a hat-trick with my grandmother, man. It, it, this game is so, you know, balanced in terms of the centre-forward partnerships that you play if you're playing a 4-2-2-2 or a 4-2-1-3, that all the players can be beastly. But he's definitely not where you want him to be. Now, when we're talking about Adriano... Straight off the bat, he's a fox in the box. He's got low weak foot accuracy, but unwavering form. This is definitely one of the best versions of Adriana that they have released. But I, again, I do feel that he is a little bit clunky for where the game is at. Uh, we look at his balance, it's not bad. It's 74, it's just on the edge. And his tight possession is 69, which is a little bit below where we want it to go. The difference between Adriano and a lot of other cards is that genuinely when you are playing with these type of cards, you know exactly what you're getting with him, which is going to be shoot on sight. Now, we're going to take a look at Adriano here. His stats and his skills, he's got chip shot control, knuckle shot, rising shot, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. People will look at these skills, they look at his, his shot power, which is 86 off the rip, his physical contact is 86 off the rip, and they'll kind of train him in a way that... I just feel like that he, he's, he's kind of a card that you don't really need to train too much in terms of like it's fairly easy to train him up. You know, don't try and turn him into a Mario. Adriano is literally you get the ball and you shoot from any distance. That is basically what you want to be doing with him. So that is the build that we are going to be looking at here, which is there for Adriano, which is 10 into shooting, 6 into dribbling, no point training up the, the dribbling too much. Once you have his ball control at 80 and then take all the manager boost and the booster boost and all that sort of stuff that comes with it, 11 into dexterity, we want minimum 85 balance. That is the key stat that we want minimum at 85. And then whatever we get with the booster, we'll take as an extra. Uh, an extra. And then lower body strength is going to be 8. That's going to bring up our kick and power. There is Gans as well. If you guys want to take a look at that, but it's not really that good, to be honest with you. And then also, last but not least, we do have 
Ronaldinho. Sorry, Les, my throat's a bit sore. But Ronaldinho, we have him here. He's going to be getting the booster to his dribbling, which is technique plus two. But again, we're not going to focus too much on that. What we are going to focus on is what Ronaldinho brings to the table straight off the rip, which is going to be scissors fade, double touch, flip flap, and soul control, which is ball roll. Any of you guys that have seen me play with Neymar will know exactly what you're getting with this Ronaldinho. He's down as a creative playmaker. Very similar to the Neymar that they released, the legend booster Neymar. One touch pass is brilliant long range. Curler's brilliant outside curler and no look pass all you're kind of missing here for Ronaldinho is low lofted pass or true passing that's all you really need for him everything else is there it's a fantastic card and straight off the rip look what I'm talking about lads right 87 type possession 84 acceleration at level one without any boosters without any extras this is going to be a phenomenal card trust me we are going to spin later attacking midfielder is the way to go with this Ronaldinho in my personal opinion, and this is the build that we've gone for here as well. So I do feel that Ronaldinho is definitely going to be a card that will benefit, I think, from having an attacking midfielder position. You know, that's where to slot him in, in my personal opinion. He's, he's He has excellent player ID. I've played a lot with Ronaldinho, his standard uh, legend card, as we've got up the divisions a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago. He's a very, very strong card, and he plays very nice. He's got excellent player AI, he's got play, uh, excellent player movement and his motion and everything. He's very, very uh, tough to get the ball off. And I think if you look at these stats just straight off the rip with no manager boost or no booster boost, these are the stats that you want to go for. We've gone for a build of 9, 8, 6, 9, 7. Now, if you don't shoot, if you do not shoot a lot with this card, you can actually limit that back to 80 and take 5 out of shooting, and then decide where else you want to put him. You can nearly get his acceleration, balance, and type possession maxed if you want to with a three more into that. If you want to, but I personally wouldn't. I would definitely go with the shooting because I like to shoot. But don't do not do a shooting build if you don't shoot. You know what I mean? It's the same with passing. If you don't pass that much and you shoot a lot, you can reduce the passing. But 85 is definitely the marker for where to go with your stats. In terms of the rest of the builds, lads, we have Kavara here. That's his build there. Very similar card to the rest of the Kavara stats uh, and skills that you get with this card. It's not a bad card at all. I mean, Kavara is probably the pick of them. Um, when you're competing with Ronaldinho and Adriano, it's going to be hard. These cards don't have any boosters, but he's got some excellent player skills, soul control, double touch. You can train and flip lap if you want to give him ball roll. Very, very nice card there as well. You also have a couple of more here that we're going to show you. But yeah, this is probably one of the weakest selections in a legend pack. You've got Pulisic there. You've got Arsolini. You've also got Zapata. You have got Milik. You have got Mkhitaryan. You have got Isaacson or Isaacson and El Shah. So El Shahari is a good player as well. There the builds from. You can pause on the builds at any time. But yeah, it's all about Ronaldinho, boys. Ronaldinho, I think, is definitely worth the hype. He's not, I don't think, the ultimate, ultimate version of an attacking midfielder that you're going to get. But I definitely think that this 30-year-old Ronaldinho is going to be a bit of a demon on the pitch. And we're going to test him out later. So I hope to see you guys in the stream if my throat is up to it, but it's, it should be, lads, I'll power through, so anyway, we will see in a little bit, yeah, definitely a thumbs up to Ronaldinho, Adriano is kind of, I think, he's just teetering on a thumbs up, but Gans, lads, one of the worst legends they've released, man, holy, this is one of the worst cards that they have released, his balance is absolutely horrific, really, really bad, um, kind of reminds me of Inzaghi without that balance issue, you know, so, uh, or with that balance issue, but yeah, we'll be back in a little bit, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you in a bit, don't forget to subscribe, peace.